I think he bought the extended warning. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look! Well, that's a sketch. Oh, I can actually see through it. There's no more etch or sketch in that one. Yeah.
Hello, kitty. What's up, everybody? So, I'm back home now. We went thrift shopping today because our weekend of garage sales did not turn out so great. So we thought, why don't we go to a thrift store that we haven't been to in a little bit. Uh, we've only ever been there one time. You'll see from the video, there is so much stuff in this thrift store. It's almost overwhelming. Nothing's really priced, and that's the other scary part. So. You could fill your cart up and you just don't know how much it is going to be. And then we ended up swinging by a Goodwill that we've never been to. We're just going to go over everything here real quick. We'll start here, uh, but this is the little haul that we picked up at the, it's a veterans thrift store. So all the proceeds go to the vets and uh, it's really neat this. You can go in there. If you are a veteran and you need help, they do let you get essentials. So like shoes and clothing and um, they will let you pick that stuff for free. So it's yeah, a really cool thrift store. And like I said, it's just out of the way so we kind of forget about it. But we're definitely going to go back after this trip. All right. So I um, picked out this movie. It is Charles Martin Smith, uh, Never Cry Wolf. And... I think it's a documentary. Honestly, I have no idea, but when I scanned it, there are two listings, one for $30 and one for $20, I think it was, or $25. Um, nothing sold in the last 90 days, but I, I don't, again, I don't know how much their VHSs are, so I was guessing like 25 cents, 50 cents, so I figured take the gamble, pick that up. Then I found this old, realistic, universal remote control and you can see originally from radio shack it was 49.95 um i don't know how old this thing is uh, the barcode when i scanned it i don't think it even came up with anything it is still in the styrofoam it looks brand new in there and when i looked up comps this thing goes for about 25 to 30 dollars next was this uh clarion sirius plug and play radio receiver car kit and it is also brand new sealed ones like this i saw were going upwards of 50 dollars. i don't know about this exact one i couldn't find i mean i didn't do too much digging in the store but i saw that there were some that were upwards of 50 dollars. next was this garmin 3590 limited this is a newer one again no price, no nothing on it. So we thought if we can get it for at least five bucks, it'd be worth it. Uh, there was comps on this, uh, 50 to, gosh, I don't even remember now, but they were, they had some pretty high comps on this. Next, Micah found this latch hook kit. It is also brand new sealed. I don't remember what she said the price on it was, but she said if we could get it for like a couple bucks, it'd be worth it. So I'm assuming maybe like $20 then. And then she also found this waffle. I think it's a waffle maker or some kind of say on there. Yeah. Four slice waffle maker, but it's a Marvel one. And I thought, hey man, that's pretty cool. Again, I'm not sure the comps cause Micah looked this one up. This one, she said, if we could get it under $10, it would be worth it. We're kind of just doing the math in our head of where we would need to be at on everything. The last few things I picked up were these video games. And I don't think I actually meant to pick this one up. I had a big stack. Uh, so usually I pick through all the games. I'll pick the ones I think might have value and then I'll go through them. Um, I think this one had okay value, but it wasn't anything crazy. And so I might be able to get like 10 bucks for that game. And then these other two are PC games that I've never seen before. This one was very interesting to me. It's the BCF, it's the Black College Football, The Experience. I didn't even know that this was a game. I couldn't find anything as far as comps when I scanned it. I figured if it was like a buck or something, it'd be worth the pickup and I'll check it out and do some digging on it. But I. I thought it was really interesting on that one. And then the last game was this National Lampoon's. It's a DVD-ROM, the Humor Magazine Complete Collection on DVD-ROM. 29 years, 246 issues, da 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 If you don't buy this DVD-ROM, we will kill this dog. And that's a pretty iconic photo from National Lampoon's. So again, I figured if I can get it for a buck, grab it. Uh, I had no idea on value because i couldn't find anything on it so anyways it was funny we were walking up to the checkout to get all this stuff so like i said i was like okay maybe five ten um let's just say 15 25 and then this probably like five bucks so 30 
say 31 and then maybe say 35 total for everything that's kind of where my number was at in my head and the guy looked at everything and he goes meh 10 bucks if you looked at when you look through that video there is so much stuff in that store they are getting so many donations there were so many drop-offs happening they have so much stuff that i think they they just want to get rid of it they want to dump it so they can have room for more stuff because they're always getting donations in so 10 bucks for all that oh yeah I uh, was like, I'm, I'll take it. Then next, we went to Goodwill. Um, we've never been to this Goodwill before. It wasn't bad. It was very, like, organized. I mean, if you notice the video, the DVDs in there, they were perfectly, like, spaced apart, and they weren't all just jumbled in there like some of them are. I was very shocked. This is the stuff that I picked up. I think I might keep this. This is Robin Big. Ugh, I love this show. And I can't ever seem to find it anywhere that plays it or... So this is the first two seasons uncensored. And I'll just be on the lookout for the rest of them. It's in rough shape, but I think it was only like a buck or something. And then I found this Xbox wired controller. I paid up a little bit. It was six bucks. Everything wor it seems to work really well. And that should be about $20. And then this is something I just found out about that actually Micah was reading on. I think it was Reddit to be on the lookout for are foot pedals for sewing machines. And we just happened to find this Singer, you know, foot pedal. Well, there was no price tag on it or anything, so we brought it up there and the lady wanted, she goes, ah, $3.99. Okay, I'll take that, that's not bad. So four bucks for this guy and these go for about 25 to $30. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Uh, we did do just a quick little run to the couple thrift stores we have never been to. I mean, granted, yes, we met a Goodwill, but we never been to that Goodwill. And then that uh, veteran store we've been to one time, and it's been a while since we've been back. So that's uh, what I had for you guys today. And, and again, be on the lookout for uh, sewing machine foot pedals. All right, guys, well, it's a crazy world out there, so stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.